Hey guys and welcome back to another episode of our Skyrim Let's Play. Uh, following on from the last one we just got the three um, elemental Atronach staffs. So we've got three uh, Steve's staffs there and before that we got Ruin's Edge which is our new bow. Now I think the next step for our build if we're going to take it into some more complex environments um, especially likes of various caves and dungeons um, we're going to need to have a certain level of stealth behind us in order to remain um you know because of how squishy we are i don't want to die immediately every time we come into contact with uh, with people's soul i think um a little bit of stealth is going to go a long way and i think the next thing we should gun for is probably the silent casting in the illusion tree now we've got some perks saved up quiet casting is level 50 so what i'm going to do while i'm here at the college the way I tend to do this, I'll go and get the Courage spell, and I will just infinitely spam it on a, on a companion or a passerby, um, and that will get us up to level 50 now. I think we've got the Mage Stone active already. The Mage's Path, yep. Yeah. We'll get rested, and then we'll... Um, then we'll start casting it. Well, I'll just speed it up though, so you guys don't have to watch me just spam illusion for, you know, half an hour straight. Courage, that's the boy. And then Muffle, I think, will come in handy at a later date. We'll grab that too. I don't know if we're going to go too far into an illusion build, per se. I think it could come in handy, perhaps, especially with some of the changes in the, um, in the perk tree that we have. All right, then. But for the time being... Illusion up to 50 is what we're going to have to do. So let's go ahead and get that learned. Get it equipped. Our apparel. We will need the Necromancer's Amulet on. Got the Novice Hood on. Got the Robes of Conjuration, that's not going to be too much. But we've also got the Archon's Tomb. All spells are 15% more effective and 15% less to cast, so that's going to come in dead handy too. And before I get started, we're going to have to put a perk into the base level of illusion here, so we might as well get a little bit of discount on the spell. Okay. And then we're going to get rock and rolling. I'll catch you on the other side. there we have it guys we are up to level 50 in illusion so that was our biggest um sort of investment time wise into um getting some levels behind the skill and that still only took about five minutes actually and um, so it won't be too bad to, to speed that up now we've got a few levels behind us and uh, we are of course hungry so we're gonna have to top that up before we start resting and we are on pretty late in the evening we want to start a fresh day so we'll go ahead and do a nice 14 hour sleep get us up to 6 a.m have a nice drink of coffee while i'm here hope you guys are doing well i'm doing a little bit better myself here we go right okay so our majiga is pretty high I think that's probably where we need it to be. Um, of course, we have the amulet on, which is bumping that up by 130. But for the time being, we're gonna, like I said last time when we started leveling up, we're gonna need some more stamina. I think things like um, being able to kite enemies is gonna come in dead handy, and having that excess stamina to sprint out of the way is gonna definitely play a factor. So I want that up to at least 150. Of course, our stamina is stunted right now because of us being hungry. But we have the quiet casting, which is what we set out for. Take a little little look at the sneak tree. We've got level one of sneak mastery there. Um, we're going to need to go up and get deadly aim eventually. But that's a bit useless for the time being. Silent movement is going to come in more handy for now. Silent roll. I, I don't really have a need for that dodge roll. Performing a silent roll briefly causes all incoming attacks and spells to miss. That's real nice. Um, 
I feel like that's something that should have been part of the game all along, which is why I like these kind of um, skill overhauls, the per tree overhauls, when they add little things that you think should have been part of the game. There we go. And Shadow Caster might come in handy. I'm unsure. I mean, destruction spells are twice as powerful against targets that are not detecting you. If we move into sort of the trap element where it's rune spells, that could come in dead handy. I think the bow is going to be our primary source of outgoing damage though um so uh, i'm unsure whether we're going to use projectile based destruction spells but something like runes could come in dead handy let's take a look at the um the skills associated with destruction runes oh our alteration is 22 now so we could start using things like mage armor magic resistance as well grab one of those mage armor yes and the next thing that we're going to bump ourselves up to is a cartel's preparation. I just think that's going to be infinitely useful. So we'll get ourselves something like, um, you know, stone flesh or ebony flesh. Um, and it'll automatically cast at the start of combat. Which just eliminates the need for us to fumble around in the uh, in the menu, you know. That's definitely going to come in handy. That, uh, that alongside stability and something like sorcerer's robes. That could come in handy too. But now, let's take a look at these runes. Rune Master can place multiple runes three times as far away. Can place runes three times as far away, sorry, not multiple. Um, all opponents affected by a destruction cloak get 25% weakness to that element. It's a shame I was sort of hoping that you could place more runes. That's something I've always wanted. I'm almost tempted to get level 1 of Destruction Mastery. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, plainly and simply because the, the charge on a staff is associated with your Destruction skill. And that is obviously 25 times 0.5. You're looking at 10% maybe. That's 10% less charge that we'll use on our, on our staffs. But I think that's only obviously... Oh, of course, that's only for Destruction Staffs. Um... My bad, I was thinking of the wrong thing. Speech might be nice. Alchemy might also be nice. And of course, archery is our combat. You know, if we're getting into... Um, if we're getting into some more snipe build, far shot might be really handy to go for. I think we'll do that. We'll spend it there. Okay. We are good to go. I'm going to go in here and raid some food. If it lets me. Try and um, grab all these apples. And pies. And we'll just polish those off, see if we can get ourselves nice and satiated. We are satisfied. I'm going to keep a hold of those tomatoes now, too. How we're looking. Okay, so we're going to have to make the run down to Windhelm again. And then we'll probably jump on a cart back to White Run. We'll correct the tomes that we have. And we are ready for some uh, some more advanced dungeon delving, then. I'm unsure how Janassa is going to hold up because of the level that we acquired her at. I don't think, obviously, without patches... Uh, I don't think that she will level up with us. Let's see. Let's see. We've, of course... Yeah, we've... Got them short-keyed. And now we'll go for Oak Flesh and... Liam Atronach. Oh, we've got a courier. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let me see. Let's see. Here. Ah, 
A letter from the Jarl? Moving up in the world, eh? Looks like that's it. Got to go. Thank you. And Dawn Guard. You there. The Dawn Guard is looking for anyone willing to fight against the growing vampire menace. What do you say? Uh, what's the Dawn Guard? We're vampire hunters. We search out and destroy those blood sucking scum wherever we find them. I haven't noticed any vampires. You're not paying attention then, like almost everyone else around here. Haven't you heard that the Hall of the Vigilance was destroyed by vampires? They never took the threat seriously, and now they paid the price. Vigilance? Dawn God? What are you talking about? The Vigilance mostly hunt down Daedra worshippers, which is why they got torn to pieces when they went up against vampires. That's why our leader, Isran, is re-establishing the Dawn Guard. Real serious vampire hunters. Okay. Um, it's not that I'm not interested. I'd like to get to it in my own time. But I guess I have to show enthusiasm. Ha! Isran's going to like you. Go talk to him at Fort Dawnguard, southeast of Riften. He'll decide if you're Dawnguard material. Thanks. We are peckish again already. So I'm just going to polish off an apple pie. Horsey, horsey, don't you stop. Just let your feet go, clippity clop. Bloody kid songs, I swear. If you guys ever have kids, once those little nursery rhymes get stuck in your head, they never leave. Wolf, don't kill. Oh, yeah. Hit me straight away. Could you help, please? My enchanting increased to 18. I think that's because I have a staff equipped. So I think one of the changes that Vokri brings in is that um, holding a staff will increase the relevant skills while you're in combat. It will in increase enchanting while you're in combat. There's another level. Nice. And I'm happy with that. I like that idea. I wonder whether casting... Come on, sprint. That's it. Let's get... Let's get... Let's get... Yeah. So many wolves. Keep running. Keep running. Save me, fox. And there's my enchanting up again. <laughs> hey, we're flying. Oh, here we go. Here we go. We're nearly there. Please, wolves. Don't catch up. We're not going to go in through Windhelm this time, we'll just quickly jump over the water. And then we'll go straight to the carriage, straight to Whiterun, and then we'll regroup and see what we're going to do from there, because... Uh, I'm unsure what sort of quest we should do next. So I'll just have a little look through the quest log. See what's around and about. See what's within our uh, within within our peer grade right now. And we'll, uh, we'll go from there. It would definitely be nice to get some um, you know silenced boots or you know, something like that. we hop. It's like the quick save before I get any sort of travel going. Need a ride? Where do you want Especially to with mods. Uh, back to Whiterun please. Central Skyrim. Oh, there, 
Ridge was a hero named Rex. Red who came riding to right run from all. The island of Solstheim is located northeast of Skyrim. The northern maiden out of Windhelm is known to occasionally take passengers back and forth. Okay, we made it. Happy days. Grand. Let's get up there. To Dragon's Reach. Tools, wares and weapons. Ah, welcome back. Good old home. I don't think we've got anything to sell, so to speak. I don't think we've done much um, delving just yet. I'm very curious uh, of what sort of damage we can put out with this bow now, though, especially with sneak attacks. Uh, I think I might go back and try the um, try the bosses out at Halted Stream, maybe. Okay, Siege Crafting Table. Can we swap? The tome we have. Tome of the Adria to the back left, please. Okay, there we go, now we can have two. I might just be a servant. Clips through the satchel on the mage's outfit, but I can get away with that. It won't be there forever. We'll probably, obviously we'll have a change of outfit at some point. Ooh. I'll dig it. Righty, let's take a look at this quest log. I'll not bore you with it, I'll probably skip ahead. Okay, so I've taken a little look. There's nothing, you know, standing out to me in the quest log so far. I just thought to myself, what artifact would probably come in really handy for our player style right now? And, you know, is it feasible to get it or not? And I'm unsure what level that the quest activates at, but if Sam Gwiven is uh, is drinking in the Bannered Mare and we might be able to start the quest for the Sanguine Rose but that will take us to a Warlock Den there's a good chance that we'll get our ass kicked when we get there uh, by the end of it so take a look if he's here we'll have the drinking contest and it'll take us to Markarth which will be interesting take a seat and get the cold out He's not here. Okay. If it's work you need, how about chopping up some wood for the fires? The alternative is to maybe try our hand at Bleak Falls Barrow. But we are only level 12. We don't have a lot of combat prowess. So... I guess we've got to try. We've got to try. We don't know what level Bleak Falls is, uh, given the rebalance in the game, so we might as well give it a whirl. We'll, um, we'll mooch on to Riverwood, we'll grab a rest, then we'll make our way up to Bleak Falls Barrow, and then that'll probably be the end of this episode, and in the next episode we'll try and take on Bleak Falls Barrow best we can. We have got another level up here as well, so we might be able to get some more uh, some more damage with a bow. Let's 
what we need to do is get into the habit of using the staffs to put down Atronax and spam some alteration for the time being because we need to get that alteration up to level 40 and then that means we've got the auto cast on the uh, on the ebony flesh and whatnot so that's gonna come in mightily handy See if we can take a cheeky shortcut here, if it works. Always Imperials here. Still nervous off the last time it crashed. I did actually get a, I got a crash to desktop while I was doing the illusion training. Just randomly cast a Cast one too many spells on Janassa, I think. The wolf. Okay, here we are. Yep, that's our our setup. Oh, we must still be in combat. Oh no, I think Genacity took care of it, so be enough for now. What time we're on 1pm. Oh, we're only a little bit hungry. We could probably just make it up there anyway. What have we got in our inventory? Anything we need to get rid of? I don't think so. The amulet of health. We'll put that on instead of the necromancer's amulet. We're doing okay for carry weight, we're doing okay for food. But well, plenty of ingredients there, it's probably weighing us down quite a bit. Bliss bug and jar, yeah, we definitely don't need that, but. I'm not going to put it down anywhere until it's my home. We'll keep a hold of the ruby. Okay, we don't actually need to rest up. And there are beds inside of um Should we leave the horse here? I think we'll leave the horse here. We'll go on foot. Go for the uh Go for Ruin's Edge. Off we go. Uh, weapon speed is dampened by hunger, so we definitely need to be in tip-top shape. Where are you, Mr. Wolf? There you are. One and done. And take the pelt because why not now sometimes when you get um, a re-leveled world I noticed this in MLU there'd be a troll here and trolls are big no no the air is chilly Here we go. Uh, 
There's one of our guys up against a tree. Wow, that dipped real bad. That's not even hitting him. That's crazy. Janassa, don't move me, please. One down. Two down. Perfect. Fuck me, we got there in the end, didn't we? Alright, we'll just go ahead and get the attention of... That geezer up there. And we probably want a Frost Atronach to be in there, just stuck. Stuck in there, holding the fort. Wait out here. All my ideas, the arrows did hit. Got him. Lovely. There's a bandit thug. See if there's a chest up here. Everything's worth looting. When you're uh, when you're playing the game this way, I feel. Eat all of the random food. Keep yourself well fed. See the light coming off of that. Oh, see, nice bit of a uh, bit of money there. On to the next one. We're super cold. It is, of course, snowing, and we're up in uh, high altitude, so we're not doing too well, heat-wise. We need to try and make quick work. See if we can get a sneak shot off on this guy that stands up there. There they are. Right, gonna have to go super high. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay, never mind. Want something that moves pretty quick. Good distance. Spam this a little. Atronach's doing well. Janassa's took one out. Oh, Janassa's down. A hey, bandit number three. Hit the deck. Okay. I think there should there might be one more up top. I don't want to use too many charges on the uh, on the storm Atronach staff. Go ahead and take. All this is just chump change now. There's no point in taking um, too much fur armor and whatnot. We're going to get better stuff by going deeper into dungeons. No one up top? Okay, right, well, we've had a nice little jaunt up to Bleak Falls. Let's get ourselves in sneak, get inside, get warm. 
and that'll be that for this episode obviously it's a it's been a shorter one just because of i'm just really just deciding what to do next maybe take care of these guys before i go any further one down two down there we go okay what you can do is if you've got the rear zombie spell and you're pretty low level, what I like to do anywho will be to uh, resurrect all of these skeevers and just kill them with something like flames and you get the experience from raising them. As soon as they turn hostile against you, you get the experience from them um, being in combat. It's a novice chest, we could probably unlock that. Okay, I'll have a try of that next time. <laughs> Can't be bothered. Right, I'm going to stand next to the fire and a sea of game. And that is it for now. Well, thank you guys for watching. My name is Brian. This is Botched Up Games. And remember, can't beat them, botch them. Take care. <laughs>